Today in our 2011 Honda CRV, we'll be looking at the best hitch options. The one here on the top is a Kurt Class 3, part number 13555. Below that is a Draw Tight Class 3, part number 75547. Both of these hitches here have a round tubular construction on them. The Kurt will be a little bit more recessed underneath our bumper cover of our CRV, whereas the Draw Tight, you may have noticed, it angles up here from the side going up so you'll see a little bit more of the sidebars hanging down below the vehicle the draw tight you may have noticed has this tab off here on the side and what this is is a bracket to mount our electrical connectors for our trailer wiring harness such as our four-way flat or a seven-way rv connector depending on what your trailer uses it's a nice easy to access location so you don't have to worry about your wires dangling below your vehicle it gives you a nice permanent mount you also don't have to worry about fishing them out from inside if the wires are stored inside the trunk compartment. The draw tight hitch has this nice round tubular safety chain loops here, real easy to use. Even with small diameter hooks, they'll clip on real easy all the way around it. Whereas the Kurt here has this plate steel construction welded on the back of it. And you may notice it gets a little tight here on the sides. So if you have a smaller diameter safety chains, they may be a little bit more difficult to insert but most every chain should still be able to get in here just fine. Both of our hitches here have our standard 5 8 inch diameter hitch pin hole to insert our hitch pin or locking device to secure whatever hitch mounted accessory we may have, such as a ball mount, bike carrier, or cargo rack. Now, the draw tight has one additional hole in front that is a half inch diameter J-pin stabilization device hole. What a J-pin stabilization device is, is something that will help secure what's inserted in the receiver to take some of the shake, play, and rattle out of it, just so you don't listen to that annoying rattling noise while you're going down the road. So you can use that. We have a J-pin stabilization device available separately on our website. This class three here in the top from Kurt has a 350 pound max tongue weight rating and a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight rating. The draw tight class three here below that it has a 3,500 pound max gross trailer weight rating and a 525 pound max tongue weight rating. It is not recommended for use with weight distribution. Both of our class three hitches here install using factory locations. There's two well nuts on either side of the frame rail on the hitch that will be used with bolts that go into those weld nuts. Additionally, there's a spot behind the receiver opening where a U-bolt clamp goes around the factory tow hook position and then goes down and two nuts secured in place there. Now for my personal preference, if I was to be buying one of these hitches here today, I would be going for the draw type myself just because of the fact that we have this nice electrical tab here to mount our wiring harness for our trailer. We also have that J-pin stabilization device hole. And finally, it does have a higher max gross tongue weight rating. So if you're using a cargo carrier on this, that supports 500 pounds, you can actually put 500 pounds of weight on it, unlike with the Kurt. The Kurt's not rated for that, it only has a 350 pound tongue weight rating. And that completes our look at the best hitch options for the Honda CRV.